Ah, all right, ladies and gentlemen, what is good? What is good? What is good? Of course, you know who I be. Good Dr. Dr. Mike TV back again once again. About to drop y'all an instant classic with the quickness. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let me go ahead and politic with y'all real quick. Um, Even though I may be in the minority on this one, I got to say something that I believe to be accurate. I absolutely find no issue with tricking. Okay, I said it. Doc, especially in the Philippines, Doc really doesn't see a problem with tricking as long as it is done moderately and on a budget. You see, when it comes to tricking in the Philippines, you will nowhere near spend as much money as you would in the United States. Or what I should say is you should never be spending the same amount of money that you would in the United States. So you might be dropping five grand on the chick in the United States, if you really tricking that hard, as opposed to 5,000 pesos on the chick in the Philippines. Um, I've always learned that regardless of how you slice it, regardless of how you slice it, ladies and gentlemen, you're gonna come out of pocket one way or another. So at the very least, if it's going to be a lady that at least brings value to your life, value to your situation doesn't even necessarily have to be your young lady because some guys let's be honest a lot of y'all don't really want relationships like that but if you find yourself in a situation where a young lady is bringing value to you whether it just be a young lady that you casually get in touch with every now and again or a young lady that you kind of um you know talk on and off with as long as she's bringing value to the relationship, how I mean, bringing value to you in one way or another, how can you honestly have a problem with tricking a couple of pesos every now and again? <sighs> I've said something before that a lot of people may agree or disagree with, but regardless of how I see what I believe to be true, I understand it's going to be different for everybody else. But I want to explain my truth and I want to explain why I believe this to be accurate before y'all jump on me, okay? Now, if you're in a relationship and you're casually getting it in, let's say uh, you and a young lady, y'all have graduated from just talking to making this an intimate thing, you and her are actually physically getting it in, okay? I believe that even if she says no, I would still in one way or another find a way to provide monetary means to make sure at least her transportation is good, whatever it may be, etc. Whatever it may be, for whatever reason, I would find a way to provide financial means because what I have noticed about good Filipinas, and I'll tell you this, this is one thing that you hear some other uh, vloggers talking about as well. The good ones. So y'all just seem to think they're all bad. But the good ones will knock down, drag out, deny it for the rest of their life. I've had young ladies fight me. Fight me! <laughs> because I wanted to provide at least funding to go home. No, I don't want to you. How dare you? Whatever, whatever. And I understand why they would do that. The reason they would do that is because they don't want to feel like you just paid them for sex. Okay. Let's keep it real. Um, no lady with any type of reputation, lot of reputation or an image that they're trying to uphold or maintain, or they hold themselves in high regard, AKA high value. Um, no woman's going to accept the cash like that. So for me, I'll put it in a purse. I wouldn't give it to her in her hand because that's a little different. It, it feels a little different when you physically give it to them than when you try to slide it into a purse or something like that. And again, this is just a doc. I know I may be on an island by myself out there. I don't care. I might be like my man Tom Hanks when he was talking to the damn volleyball and call him Wilson. Okay, I might be out there with Wilson by myself and that's okay because I'm willing to accept that. If I'm going down, I'm going down swinging, but I'm going down with a fight. And explaining the reason why I believe that coming out of pocket is always going to be your best bet. Number one, I've noticed that girls, even if they do need it, the good ones, they won't ask. And they damn sure won't take. So can you imagine if a young lady, and this is a hypothetical, but I've known this to be true. A young lady spends whatever couple of pesos she has to her name to come holler at you, come see you or whatever. Because, you know, let's be honest, the current climate, climate prior, you guys got to understand, man, Filipinas don't really have money like that. So maybe their traveling budget or expenses, it might be easy for you to get from point A to point B, whether it be by jeepney or whether it be by taxi. Um, but a lot of women don't have you know, a mode of transportation or funds to be, you know, going from point A to point B. So 
in my opinion, I'm always a big I'm always a big advocate of at least, at the very least, making sure they have funding to go home. Regardless of what they use it for, just make sure they have some money to at least go home. Because I've noticed that some women will spend the last little couple pesos they got just to get to you. It's weird, but it's true. It is weird. I understand that, but it's true. I mean, if you ain't got it, you ain't got it. Some girls will even tell you, I don't have the funds to go there. Then if you offer up, like, oh, don't worry about it, I'll pay for it. Some of them will still tell you no. <laughs> All right? But at the very least, I would at least make sure a young lady got some funds just to go home. I mean, you never want to leave them empty-handed just in case because the pride that Filipinas have, the good ones, the ones that bring value to your relationship, they will not under any circumstances accept cash like usually in their hand now you do got some that'll say hey bitch yeah, psh, 500 <laughs> don't mind if i do all right but again going back to the topic at hand ladies and gentlemen tricking on a budget ain't nothing wrong with that like i said ain't nothing wrong with tricking as long as it's done on a budget as long as it's done in moderation i believe that you can't go wrong with tricking in moderation but then again there's always going to be your naysayers man if we're mutually benefiting from the relationship wherein both of us are getting satisfaction from the intimacy aspect of the relationship that we are partaking in why in the world should i pay it's not you paying for the company or the time spent or anything like that because that's where most guys go wrong you think that that's what you're paying for a lot of guys that say well doc you ain't paying them this thing you're paying them to go away if you feel that way that's kind of a fucked up way to think about it but i can understand how you could come up with that answer but for me i believe that this is just to create and keep the peace and you're gonna you're gonna probably think i'm crazy because doc is a worst case scenario type of guy i'm gonna leave you with this after i finish this thought but I'm the type of person I pay to keep the peace. And I learned this from my father. My fa I remember a specific situation. I do. I remember distinctly. And my dad got pissed off at me. Oh, she's going to hit that car. Oh, you're going to hit it. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ooh, that is damn close. Anyways, I'm in the parking lot at Walmart. I'm sorry. Um, That's what, that's when you know I can record a video. Anyway, right, let me turn the car. But um, my dad told me... I remember I was, I, there was a distinct situation. Something happened. I got, I ended up hooking up with a young lady, whatever it may be, blah, 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 whatever happened, happened. I ended up parting ways with her and I didn't part ways with the, with the monetary funds. So my pop looked at me kind of crazy and shit. He's like, son, why the, why the hell would you do that for? You know? And he, he goes on to give me a very deep explanation as to why. And this is why I kind of look at everything from a worst case scenario. Like I told you, the last thing you want is a charge, a rape charge, something like that. And granted, I know that's my mind going to the absolute worst case scenario in every situation, but I think this is how we keep the peace. This is how we remain even killed. This is how relationships will continue to flourish and no girl will ever have a problem just casually giving it to you as needed. And the reason I say that is because, look, I've known guys that, for lack of a better term, if a situation came through when the monetary funds wasn't parted with, who are we to say that baby girl ain't going to say, oh, he he did something bad to me? You know, who are we to say that? Again, we're the foreigner in a foreign country, ladies and gentlemen. And again, maybe Doc's just paranoid as hell. Maybe he's missed a worst case scenario. But I would rather think that far ahead than sit there and expect things to be OK when they're not OK. So for me to sit there and think that baby girl is actually OK and she needs something and then maybe the situation doesn't go as well as we planned or you know it doesn't end on an even kill or in a calm state things could really go bad for you quickly even if it was consensual mutual you never know now again you kind of expect that type of behavior from women in you know western worlds and stuff like that where they have the idea that you know that type of stuff can really get a man effed up but let's not put it past <laughs> any young lady foreign or not okay but again doc believes in tricking in moderation ladies and gentlemen what's what what's ten dollars honestly man what is what is parting ways with 10 bucks really gonna do for you tell me tell me please 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 tell me what five how how much is 500 pesos really gonna hurt your wallet and if 500 pesos is really gonna hurt your wallet you do not need to be in country if 500 pesos is really gonna kill the pockets ladies and gentlemen you do not need to be in country because 
Nah, now you over here looking sad. That's all I'm going to say. Now, if you want to go ahead and try to divulge and deep layer this thing like I know that we can, you take care of a bill or two, and that kind of keeps everything in the in the fold. It keeps, damn, she bow-legged as hell. <laughs> it's kind of cute. Oh, she, <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. This chick is, this, this, this chick is like maybe 5'1". And she bow-legged as hell. I, I don't know. I think bow-legged chicks are cute. I don't know. Maybe it's the way they walk. I, I'm sorry. I'm going to hell. I know. It's okay. But anyways, guys, trick it in moderation, guys. It's okay. I don't see a problem with it. But let me know in the comment section below, Doc. I ain't tricking on none of these girls, man. They don't deserve my money. They don't deserve this, those, or that. If you want to say that, keep it in the comment section below. If you feel like, well, Doc, I can see where you coming from just a little bit. You know, it's a toss-up. You know, I, I, I can see it, but I can't see it. If that's how you feel, let me know in the comment section below. I am definitely interested to hear what you guys have to say about tricking in the Philippines. Are you okay with it? Are you not okay with it? And if you made it this far to the video, ladies and gentlemen, you know you gonna say something stupid like hey in the comment section below quotation marks ladies and gentlemen it ain't tricking if you got it that's what we're gonna say all right it ain't tricking if you got it put it in quotation marks ladies and gentlemen and you can put whatever comment you want to again i do this just to help with the algorithm and see just how many of y'all actually make it to the end i'm not gonna tell you to watch it into the end I just want to see if you guys are doing it naturally on your own. Ladies and gentlemen, has been a good Doc Dr. Mike TV talking his ass off. Hope you guys are blessed. Hope you guys are true. Stay blessed. The good Doc is officially out. At least Nako. Ba'alam, which means I am going. Now, bye bye. As always, love you guys. Sincerely do. Mahakita. Mabuhai. Peace.